and welcome to another California Guy video with your boy California Guy. What's up everybody? And this is kind of a follow up to previous videos that I've done. This video was called Black Christianity Under Attack 2.0 because I've did many videos on black Christians in the United States being persecuted by African American people. Now, and as I said in previous videos which you guys can check out the black church have been under attack for actually decades and generation after generation. We all know the history of the black church. The black church is the institution that keeps the black community thriving. Black Christianity has birthed music, gospel music, ministers, the, the center of the civil rights movement. We've gotten laws changed. But over the last few years, black Christianity has been attacked not only by white people but African American people yes I've said it African American people they have been attacking the black church for whatever sinister agenda they have these people have attacked us a lot of us black Christians we have did more for the black community than even the black atheists have even done so it's this fact the black uh, church you know helps out youth in the ghetto when youth get killed younger blacks get killed we're there we step in to help these young people out and turn them to God and see now a lot of people and I think it's Satan involved too want the black church to be destroyed um, a couple of years ago a man by the name of Steve Harvey and other black people in mainstream media attacked the black church because we didn't support gay marriage and they were trying to force black people into supporting something that we never liked and so it became an issue so the black church they, they try to devalue everything that we stood for and the black church was like I said responsible for helping to get out of slavery escape plans church music all those different things was one of the instruments that helped to get black people out of slavery and then Jim Crow we had certain meetings there again civil rights act was pushed through the black church uh, Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King black minister Nat Turner minister you know so everything centered around the black church because that's the last stage for black people and now you have African Americans attacking the black church as if it's a Uncle Tom organization and it's absolutely not that case you know, me being a pro-black, because I'm pro-black, yes, I am conscious. Don't get it twisted, I'm black conscious, but I am a black Christian at the same time. I do follow the path of the Lord. And, you know, with me being a Christian, and people can say a holy roller, whatever they want to say to me. But I know that my being a African-American activist, and I am a person that follows Christ at the same time, that it's to help inspire my people to get out of the, 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 the ghettos and to get away from uh, supremacy through, and I'm helping to guide black people through the church and black people don't seem to understand that a month ago I was attacked because I trashed Farrakhan because Farrakhan is a nation of Islam a, a fraudulent religion because the nation of Islam is very fraudulent and I was attacked by it because I figured that he had no ideals because of me being a black Christian. Now these same black people that's attacked me, they they support Farrakhan, but, but yet they wouldn't support Martin Luther King. Martin Luther King, I'm sorry, or Reverend Al Sharpton or Jesse Jackson. But they'll support a man like Farrakhan who has gotten nothing done. But all he does is take money from the people. But that's not about Farrakhan. It's about black people thinking for themselves. And that's what I'm doing this video for. Black people think for yourself. If you want to follow Christ, follow Christ. You do not have to adapt to these other black people telling you what you should believe in and what you should not believe in. So that's what, what I'm getting out there. We need to think for ourselves. And we need to go back to Christ again and work through the black church so that we could get things done. They tra And in fact, these same stupid ass black people were saying, like Sister Sola and all of them were saying black people were weak because of the church charts and shooting because the black Christians said that they forgave 
uh, and I was insulted too in calling names because we said we forgave the killer. You know, I didn't see there was nothing wrong forgiving. Forgiveness doesn't mean that we're going to free him out of jail. See, these black people don't know the Bible. They say they forgive him because they know he's going to get the swiftest punishment that you could ever find. But yet, these same stupid ass black people is like, well, you're weak because, you know, you believe in church. So, you know, I'm telling you black people, think for yourselves. Fuck those stupid ass, uh, ignorant ass niggas that don't believe in God. So, make comments on my sec uh, 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 comment section. And let's discuss and debate this. Peace out.